Hello friends, I'm Graham, and this is Surreal Cinema. Today we have a very, very serious conversation that needs attention. Seriously. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Digital media versus physical media. What do I mean by that? <clears throat> well, just that. You're sitting here on your phone, and doo -doo -doo, you're watching your favorite movie that you bought. Digital copy. Digital copy. Whatever platform. You know, Amazon, or um, uh, Voodoo, Hoodoo, uh, I don't know, Ultraviolet. What is there now? My, my Movies Anywhere. Whatever platform, whatever platform you bought it on, you, you said watch it. Do, do, do. Well, you know what happened? Last week they changed their contract. And now your movie that you thought you owned digitally, you can't watch it on that platform. Or you have to go to a different platform and subscribe to someone else. Or, oh, this isn't the movie I remember watching when I was younger. <sighs> they totally cut that scene out. For instance, The Breakfast Club. Yeah, there's a really great scene of a shot and you don't get to see it because the director decided he didn't want you to see it no more because that wasn't his vision for the movie. Well, let me tell you what, guys. <clears throat> There's pros to having this. There's cons to having this. There's cons to having this. And there's pros to having this. There are pros and there are cons. Eh, interchangeable? Yeah, they come with each other, kinda. If you have both of them, you're great. If you have this one, but it's at home and you don't have this one and you're in London, whoops, can't watch what's stuck at home now, can you? But if you got this one and you're in London, you can watch it. So let's talk about pros and cons. There's a great example. With digital media, you have the ability to go anywhere in the world. As long as you have internet access, you have the ability, for the most part, <laughs> unless it's a country that refuses to let you watch this video on a platform, <clears throat> China, <clears throat> uh, but pretty much anywhere in the world, you can watch your physical media. Yeah, you can check it out all you want to. I think it's blurry. I've already got this one. Anyways, but anywho, back to what I was saying, this gives you flexibility. You can't take your entire collection with you when you travel, for instance. I can't take my entire collection with me. The doctor and I are going to take a trip. We got to take the whole thing. We've got the TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. Isn't that great? But if you have all of the digital copies on the World Wide Web, then you can take them with you. That is a pro. A con? Contracts change. People buy and sell businesses. Ultraviolet decides to close down. Now you don't own your video anymore. It's kind of like a rental agreement almost. Kind of. But not really. We got hard copy. The pro to this. You got hard copy. So if the director says, you know what? That version you're no longer going to watch. Guess what? You can still watch it because you have the hard copy. You have the release. You have physical media. But again, you got that con. I and mean, if you want to take it with you, I guess you could open it up, and pull all the discs out, and put them in like sleeves and risk the chance of scratching stuff. I guess. Although when I go on vacation, the last thing I want to do is take extra stuff with me. I got enough stuff. My wife's got bags and bags and bags and bags. Uh, and, and, and it will too. The stuff. We got enough. Can't take physical media with me, usually. But that's okay. I've got a hard copy in case something happens. So there are pros and there are cons to both. Ideally, you want both. Ideally, you want to keep both copies. Is digital a must? No. Will I only buy a digital copy with no physical copy? No. I'm a physical guy. 
I like a collection. I like something that I can come in when the internet's down and be like, oh, this looks good. I want to see that. Or that's great. Oh, ooh, Red Dawn. Oh, see, see, see? I got something I can watch. Internet's down. It's okay. We've got physical media. It's nice, but it's not necessary. So, pros and cons. Anywho, enough with that rant. Tell me down below in the comment section down there, what do you think? Do you think I'm right? Or do you think I'm totally loony tuning loony? Either way, I don't know. I'll tell you what, if you think I'm crazy and you think I'm a looney tune, tell me in the comment section. Tell me how psycho I am, how nut jobby I am, how I am like totally of the past. But if you agree with me and you think I'm right, give me a thumbs up. We'll see who wins. This will be fun. I'm excited to wait and see what your answer is. But until then, I'm going to keep my physical copies because I've lost me a ton of digital ones. Thanks, Fandango. Yeah, it happens. Digital copies are not guaranteed for you to have forever. Sorry. Ah. <sighs>